Hello friends. Now we concentrate on our lesson. We will continue our lesson. Last period we have discussed about Don Anselmo, about Americans, about John A. A. Sedillo. John A. A. Sedillo, our storyteller, tells us about Don Anselmo. Who was a Don Anselmo? Which type of dress he put on? Which type of coat he had put on, or he put on? He tells us about his orchard, about his little creek, about that is orchard, house, everything he has mentioned in a paragraph number one and paragraph number two. Already we have discussed. Now we are going to study about paragraph number three. Now we concentrate on paragraph number three. The old man bowed to all of us in the room. Then he removed his hat and gloves slowly and carefully. Chaplin once did that in a picture in a band. He was the janitor. Then he handed his things to the boy, who stood ob obediently behind the old man's chair. The old man bowed to all of us in the. A room, and already you know that the day was a fix for a official discussion. And now here, Don Anselmo came came to his office, John A. Sedillo's office. And so when he entered to his office, at first the old man or Don Anselmo bowed to all of us. All of us means all of them in that the room. After that, what was the activity of uh, Don Anselmo? Then he removed his hat. Hat means that is a cap, and uh, that is the hand gloves slowly and carefully. Already we know that the condition of the hand gloves. The hand gloves were torn, outdated. It was a not a good condition, and so that's why he removed his hat and the, that is the hand gloves slowly and carefully. Charlie Chaplin's or Chaplin's once did in a in that the picture in a bank he was a, a janitor and now here again John A A Sedillo compare with uh, Charlie Chaplin who was a Charlie Chaplin Charlie Chaplin was a comedian in a picture already we know that in a picture yes his role was a uh, as a comedian and here his behavior. His moment, Charlie Chaplin's moment. Already we know that when he entered his office, he looked like, or his moment was like Charlie Chaplin's moment. And so here he compare John A. Sedillo compare the moment about that the moment of uh, our Don Anselmo. And now here one reference is given by the John A. A. Sedillo. Charlie Chaplin once did in that in a picture. Picture means there is a film. In a bank there was a maybe bank, and the, in that the bank his role was Charlie Chaplin's role was like that. That is a janitor. What is the meaning of the janitor? Janitor is a given in your glossary. You see your glossary. Janitor means someone whose whose job is to look after a school or large building. In short, we say that I'll say in your language, जे कौन जी व्यक्ति अपने बिल्डिंग ची काल्जी के ते देखभाल करते आशा व्यक्तिला जानिटर मंत्र। And now here, his role was a janitor means Charlie Chaplin's role was a janitor in a bank. And at that time, his moment was like that. In such a moment, he felt that yes, same moment he looked like. And so here he compare about that the moment moment of a Don Anselmo. Then he handed his things. He handed his thing to the boy who stood obediently behind the old man chair. Then he handed his things. He handed his thing. He means Don Anselmo. Don Anselmo handed his thing. What are the things? Things are like hat. Or that is a hand gloves, and he handed his things, or the, that is a 
the hat or the that is a the hand gloves yes the handed to that the boy who was a boy already we have discussed in paragraph number 2 the boy who was a boy a dark young man or da- dark young boy with eyes like a gazel and he was a wherever he went he was with him the boy in numberable kin or dark young boy dark young man was with him he handed his things to the boy who stood obediently behind the old man's chair he always stood behind the old man's chair it is a about that the paragraph number the 3 and now we will discuss about that the questions answer check your understanding question number 1 The old man was dash dash in bracket fill in the blank with the most appropriate word it is a instru- it is a instruction is a given here and the options four options are given a understanding b quick c unhurried and d that is a witty what is the correct answer the correct answer is unhurried why because how can we say that the this means unhurried is a correct answer because you go to the paragraph number 1 we will get the second line second line is that he was in no hurry and correct answer is that unhurried means the old man was unhurried now we turn to the question number 2 do you think the ancestor of the old man lived in a river meadow ancestor means descendant that is a relatives in marathi we say that purvaj Do you think the ancestor of the old man, old man Don Anselmo, lived in a river in Meadow? Is this right or wrong? Yes. Answer is that yes. The ancestor of the old man lived in a river in Meadow. Now we turn to the question number three. The old man, uh, sorry, the word in line four of paragraph, line number four of paragraph number one. suggest that the old man was a farmer pick that the word pick out that the word yes you go to the paragraph number 1 and the line number 4 will get the what is the line number 4 the line number 4 is that he tilled the same land they had tilled and the pick out the word for that the farm means how can we say that the he was a farmer the line shows us line number 4 paragraph number 1 Yes, the line is that he tilled the same land they had tilled, and the word, the correct word is that that is a tilled. Again, now we turn to the paragraph number. Uh, sorry, question number four. Study the picture and describe the old man's orchard by using the words given below. The words are given in a bracket. Which are the words? Words are like a small stream. Second, unpleasant. Next one. the fruit bearing trees next one old fashion house next one attractive such a words are given here given in a bracket and you describe the old man's orchard by using the following words or given words yes the one first word is that a small stream how can we say that the small stream we use the words in your own languages own sentences yes the here i will give one example and then we turn to the next question a small stream ran through his land i will create one sentence i will create one sentence the sentence is that a small stream ran through his land i will create only one sentence you create other sentence with the help of the words given in a bracket you use such the words in your own sentences i will turn to the next question question number 5 question number 5 in paragraph number 2 the word who and these refer to and dash dash and dash dash respectively yes you go to the paragraph number that is a 2 we will get the word who who the word is a refer to the the senator senator and this the word is a refer to the people in the mountain people in the mountains now we turn to the paragraph number 6 look at the picture and draw your inference inference means that is a anuman kadne like that guess like that or the yes 
look at the picture and draw your inference about the old man's appearance and his social living social or living condition yes look at the picture and draw your inference that old man's appearance and his social or living condition yes you go to the picture picture already given what is uh, yes what is uh, how he look like means that is a physical appearance of old man and the, his social living condition yes now already we know that yes he put on the the old cor old coat that is a green faded coat yes he he was also put on the one of the that is a prince albert yes or he put on the that is a hand gloves ragged worn out yes outdated that is a uh, hand gloves then the year yes uh, then uh, next question is that what what was his social or living condition he was a respected in his village he was a powerful person in his village he was a man of principle he was a generous you can write okay now we turn to the question number 7 the word innumerable kin already mentioned in a pair of number that is a two the word innumerable kin means that the old man had a number of dash dash options are given five options are given the first option is a uh, uh, children second option the trees in the orchard third one is that that is a uh, relatives number d that is a uh, the followers and fifth number is that uh, that is a uh, the kin the correct answer is that innumerable kin means relatives innumerable kin means relatives now we turn to the number 8 in the indian context of the eyes of women are compared to the fishes compared to the fishes and so it is a known as a minakshi the eyes of the women is a known as a, i that is a fishes with a minakshi lotus we say that that is a kamalakshi yes and based on their shape and size why do you think the eyes of the boy are likened the to gazelle can you write in a it in a kannada note the gazelle in kannada is yes the correct answer is that harinakshi yes the eyes of that the boy that is a harinakshi like a kamalakshi like a minakshi yes like that that is a harinakshi yes why already we know that the uh, our john a sedula describes about that the boy in number walkin young dark boy with eyes like a gazelle he described about that the boy and so the, his eyes look like a harinakshi yes now we turn to the next question how did the old man greet the people who had been waiting for him how did the old man who old who is the old man our don anselmo how did the old man greet the people who had been waiting for him waiting for him the answer is that when he entered to his office at first yes the the old man bowed to all of the people who had been waiting for him it is a answer of that the the question and now the last question is that question number 10 the old man remove his hat and gloves carefully the old man remove his hat and the, that is a gloves carefully and the two questions are given on that the statement the question number a was he afraid that they would get spoiled was he afraid no already we know that the condition of the hand gloves the torn condition outdated condition worn out condition and so that's why he removed his hat and the, that is a gloves carefully and slowly why yes already we know that was he afraid that he was not afraid yes was he afraid that he would get the spoil no and the question number b whose style did it remind the writer of whose style or the moment which the style or moment yes the his moment was like that means she wanted to compare don anselmo's moment with that is a charlie chaplin yes charlie chaplin yes it is a the questions and answer now we turn to the pair of number 4 now we turn to the pair of number 4 there was a great deal of conversations about the rain and his family he was very proud of his large family finally we got down to business yes yes he would sell as he had agreed for 1200 dollars in cash we would buy and money was ready don anselmo i said to him in a spanish 
we have made a discovery you remember that we sent that the surveyor that is near up there to survey your land so as to make make the deed when he finds finds that you own more more than 8 acre he tells us that your land extends across the river the river and that you own almost twice as much as you thought he didn't know that he didn't know that and now uh, don anselmo i added these americans are bunagent the bunagents are the spanish word these americans are bunagent they are good people yes they are good people yes and they they were they are willing to pay you for the additional land as well at the same rate per acre so that instead of 1200 dollars you will get get almost twice as much and the money is a hair for you yes now discuss about that the pair of number the four that there was a now he entered to his office he came to his office and now here there was a great deal of conversation about the rain and and his family yes don anselmo discuss about that the two subject the first subject is that rain and and second subject is that his family yes the discussions was going on uh, in that the office office room there was a deal of conversation about the rain and his family he was a very proud of his family large family his family was a large family he was a yes a respected person in his village yes he gave a respect to the other people also he was a man of principle he was a generous he was a good person he was a dominated person in his village and so here he was a very proud of his uh, large family he was very proud of it. finally we got down to business the statement is a very important finally we got down to business we the word is a rapper to whom we the word is a rapper to whom the we means now the john a sedilo americans and the don anselm also we here we got down to business what is the business business means here yes sir the day was a fix here to sell his land yes to complete the procedure legal procedure and the now here after the after the discussions about that the rain and family then the here they turn to that the main subject main topic the topic already we know that yes yes we we would sell yes he sorry he would sell as he had agreed yes and he was ready to sell his land yes he was ready to sell his land and he had agreed he had agreed for 1200 dollars yes he was he was agreed yes for that the 1200 dollars in a cash and his land was a 8 acre land yes he was ready to sell how many lands that is 8 acre land for 1200 dollars 8 acre is equal to 400 dollars yes this is a very important year and he, now he was uh, agreed we would buy and money was ready yes we would buy we means who here americans and already we know that the relation between the john a sedilo and the americans both were close friends yes and now here yes here he was a uh, yes ready they were also ready yes we would buy and the money was ready and then the year don anselmo i said to him in spanish in the word don anselmo don the word is a word comes from that spanish language and the meaning of the don is that that is a sir and the word sir is also respective word means definitely he was a respected person in his area or in his village don anselmo i said to him i miss oh john a a sedilo i said to him in a spanish and then the year he said that don yes a year john a a sedilo said to that don anselmo we have made a discovery we have made a discovery who said who this line is a very important for rc rc means a reference to context rc means what here reference to context reference to context and already we know that what is the meaning of reference to context in marathi that is a sandarbha spastikaran sandarbha spastikaran and this line is a very important for rc reference to context we have made a discovery discovery means showed like that we have the made a discovery who said that john a a sedilo said to the don anselmo 
what he had discovered what the john a a sedulo had discovered he wanted to tell don anselmo and now he said that we have made a discovery you remember that we sent we sent that the surveyor or engineer up there to survey your land so as to take to make the deed and now here he said that he wanted to tell about that the the survey survey about that land and one day what happened is yes, they sent they sent to the surveyor or engineer to survey the land and they got the one thing surveyor or engineer got one thing what was the one thing now he wanted to tell to that the fact or the reality to that our don anselmo don anselmo i said to him in spanish we have made a discovery he uh, you remember that we sent that surveyor engineer up there to survey your land as make to the find deed and the deed was a complete deed means work task task was a completed here well he finds that you own more than 8 acres and they got surveyor got the surveyor found that engineer found that your land was a double land it was a good thing means 8 acre land becomes became a yes the 16 acre double land they got but you know that yes you know only yes about that the 8 acre but when they survey your land or his land they got the double land he's now here well he finds that you are own more than 8 acre he tells that your land extend across the river and you own almost twice as much as you thought and the year and your land was extended across the river and so your land became a double double land 8 acre became a 16 acre yes your land actual actually yes now here he did not know he did not know about that the actual land yes don anselmo he did not know and now don anselmo i added americans these americas are buna again buna again both words are americans and now these americans are buna again yes translate into english they are good people they means who america buna again means good people buna again means what here that is a good people are these americans are buna again means they are the good people yes who were the good people americans were the good people and they are willing to pay for additional land as well as the same rate per acre and now here they were also good people who americans were good people americans were generous and they were ready to yes the pay they were ready to they were, they are willing or they were willing to pay yes additional land yes or the as well at the same rate per acre or instead of a uh, yes 1200 dollars you will get almost twice as much and the money is here for you and they are ready if you want to your land extra land you take this if you want to extra amount yes you also take this he was ready means they were also americans were also are ready to give the the extra amount for that the extra land it means that they were real they were good person they were the that is a the generous and so here both were generous we try to understand john anselmo were also generous generous means one who gives to the others datrutva dena is like that means one who gives to the others yes that is a generous both were the generous don anselmo and the and that is a don anselmo were the generous was a generous and the americans were the also generous both were the generous now we turn to the paragraph number 5 the old man hung his head for a moment in thought then he stood up and stared at me friend he said that i do not like to have how you speak to the me the, in that the manner i kept still and let him have his say i know these americans are good people and that is that's why i have agreed to sell to them but i do not care to insult it i have agreed to sell my house and land for 1200 dollars and that is the price what is the price that is the price yes he was a stick up with his words and now he was agreed that the man hung his head for a moment in thought yes he hung hanging means he was nodding his head was nodding like that and he thought sometimes he is now the don and selmo or old man hung his head for a moment kai kshanbar to vichar karto 
then he stood up then he stood up and stared at me stare means s t a r e s t a r e stared means that is look he is now here yes he stared at me friend he said i do not like how to you speak yes he speak to me in that manner whatever you told me it was not good yes he said that whatever the server yes he said to the john he said whatever you uh, told that whatever you said that it was not good yes and so here yes i kept still still and let him have his say i know these people yes now at last he said that i know don anselmo said that i know these people are americans are good people that's why i agreed to sell them agreed agreed to sell to them and now he was ready i yes uh, he was ready don anselmo was ready yes to sell his land why because they were good person americans were a bun agent americans were good person but i do not care to be insulted and according to him already john a sedilo told about the pack about his extra land and now here according to him it was insult whatever he told it was insult according to don anselmo yes it is a horrible thing yes i do not care to the, to be insulted he said that i agreed to sell my house and land for 1200 dollars yes yes at first the transaction was a happen yes he gave his words to that the that is the americans and now here i have agreed to sell his my house and land for 12 and 1200 dollars and it was a final price i did not want or he yes he did not want more land he did not want that is a more amount and the at first he decided yes the 8 acres for 8 acres for that the means while selling such a land she got the that is a he will get the that is a 1200 dollars here i have agreed to sell my house and land for 1200 dollars and that is a the price yes now we discuss about the paragraph number 4 and paragraph number that is a the five yes uh, then we'll see the next prayer